All right, here we go again. A few days ago, I was saying I was going to start on the SD card and put the image onto it. I was going to use the Fedora Remix, but apparently that's been pulled as a bit buggy and slow. So we've now got the Debian, the original Debian one in it. Took a bit of time to get it put onto the SD card. The Linux wasn't behaving itself, and uh, Windows wasn't behaving itself, but eventually got it on anyway. So there's your Raspberry Pi board, and there she is connected up, all ready to rock. So she's in the LAN, there's the keyboard, and a mouse, and that is your basic start page. So as you can see down here, it's looking for a login. So login is pi. And your password is Raspberry. That's no big secret, lads. It's standard for the board and uh, and uh, this particular distro. So there we are, we're logged in. So you can run with it like this if you like, but I think most of us are going to be looking for the GUI. So we'll just type in start X. And that'll bring up our interface. Now you got to remember, this thing has only got about 256 megabytes of RAM. So it is not going to be a whopper of a machine. It is running the LDE lightweight desktop environment, which helps things a bit, but you're still not going to be looking at a Cray 2 right in here. This is just uh, simple. So I'll bring in a tour of the desktop. Okay, and here we have our start button, desktop switcher, the mouse down here. So we've got accessories, usual jazz. Education. Uh, Scratch, I've heard about it's. Uh, I think Stanford wrote this on uh, getting kids to program real early. Internet is Midori, nice and lightweight little browser. And other now, there is a ton of stuff in this. Um, there's Python, I recognize a few bits and pieces. I'm not sure what a whole lot of it is. I'm sure it'll all become clear when uh, I start exploring it. But for now, programming then, this is the Python editor. You got scratch and squeak there again. Then, to do give you a music player and system tools. And you got some preferences, the run command and logout. So, and then over on the far side here, I know it's a very big screen, you've got a, um, this is your system monitor on um, how much the CPU is doing. Now, you can see we're really not doing a whole lot at the moment, and it's still running pretty hard. I'll keep it on it now, and I'm going to open a browser window for you, and you'll see how much it has to work to get the browser window open. And the other parts that are down here is just your um, calendar. Sorry lads, I wasn't doing this with my left hand. Is just your calendar, your screen lock, and the shutdown. So if you come back over here, you see this is the the web browser. So we bring that back up, and we just keep an eye on this. You can actually see how hard that board has to work. To get this browser up and running, yeah, there you go. So, this is the last page I was on, it's just the Wikipedia article of the day. And I'm sorry about the flickering, lads, this is on a phone off the TV. But um, as you can see, it's had to do an awful lot of work to get this thing up. Now, Raspberry Pi, it's not going to be something that you're going to be using as your home computer. Uh, it doesn't do Flash, so you can forget about YouTube. 
It's designed to teach programming to kids. So, ideally, you wouldn't be using this GUI at all, but it's there. And they probably will be using it to start with, just get kids familiarised with it. But it'll, it'll run perfectly well if you want to do a bit of programming, writing some scripts. And it's 35 euro. It's pretty sweet. It's running off uh, my mobile phone charger. I have a Nexus S. Um, the LAN goes in there. That's the... And the two USB ports just the keyboard and mouse. You can run a hub off that as well and put more on it. I haven't connected the audio into it yet. And that's the HDMI at the back that goes into the telly. And the power and the SD card is sitting under there now. Sorry if that's a bit dark. But uh, that's just a quick look at a Raspberry Pi. I have to say, I'm very impressed for the price. And uh, I really hope we can do some nice things with it. But uh, check out uh, raspberrypi.org. That's their web page. And they're constantly updating it with stuff and suggestions. And they are going to bring out a book. Um, or kind of a course book for kids as well on how to program. I think the creator of Python is offering his notes as well. I think he has to update them from 2.6 to 3. But um, they've been offered as well. And I hear there's a little camera module coming out for some of the exposed pins that are on it. And probably by the end of the year. And so hopefully by the end of the year they'll also have their educational board out. And... Uh, That'll, that'll probably come with a case and uh, the SD card I've already programmed so it won't look as, as uh, rough as this little beauty does but uh, it'll be more or less the same jazz and, uh, and that's it thanks for watching guys bye